Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over the SRVV muzzle device that you see here. It is the FHMB. One thing you're gonna notice when you fire this muzzle device is that there is a decent sized concussion. Now, um, with that comes a great deal of control in terms of muzzle rise, but there is a good bit of concussion. I just felt it there as I was shooting it. That's why I'm kind of smiling saying it. But um, without question, uh, like all SRVV products, it works extremely well. Uh, this one here is imported, I believe, exclusive to Circle 10 AK. And uh, this one's the 545 version, which we can also use on the uh, 556 rifle like we're doing today. But we'll keep putting some rounds through it. Uh, after that, step inside, take a look at it, maybe get a night shot, see what kind of uh, flash signature we're getting out of this sucker. And uh, that should pretty much do it. to test the muzzle flash in sort of a worst case scenario so what I did is I took the uh, SLR 104 chambered in 5.45 uh, put some wolf 5.45 ammo in there so there's no flash retardant in there stepped out to the range and you guys can check it out next Now that we've seen the night fire, we'll get into what actually makes this break effective. Uh, a few things on there. Uh, number one, you're going to see if you take a close look there at those actual ports, they're angled. They're angled at about a 30 degree angle backwards. So what that does is as the recoil of the, the rifle is pushing back into your shoulder, that's actually helping to sort of pull the rifle forward and eliminate or reduce some of the felt recoil. Um, additionally, the bottom part of the break here, once you time it up, with your uh, little detent uh, is not exposed like there is all the way around the top. So that way the gases are pushing out all the way around but not pushing down. So the, the two ports, sets of ports I should say on top are pushing down while nothing is pushing up, helping to keep that muzzle very, very flat. Now one thing that you're gonna notice with these ports being angled back is like I was uh, kind of laughing earlier in the video, that concussion sort of comes back at you as a shooter. That said, if you have ear pro on, it's absolutely not an issue. It's not like my ears are ringing or anything like that after firing this, and I've had it out there several times at the range. Uh, there's certainly no issue there. Another thing that helps with this uh, effectiveness of this break, I should say, is that it's actually a two-port or two-chamber design, actually. Let's see if we can get in there and actually show you what it, what's actually happening there. That's the first chamber you can see, and from this angle, you can kind of see the second chamber. So the chambers correspond with the ports here. So Maybe we can see it from this angle. It's tough. Trust me, in real life, you can very easily see that there are actually two different chambers in there. So that very much so also helps with the felt recoil. That's pretty much how it works. A few other specs that you guys may be interested in, you can see the weight there as it compares to the uh, KVAR standard AK-74 type break, as well as I believe I've got the uh, 104 uh, type booster break in there as well so you can see that also you can see how it compares lengthwise it's a little bit longer and a little bit heavier obviously due to the two chamber design that we have there there's just more steel in there it's made of steel and it does have a black oxide finish on there to resist corrosion so uh, even with the corrosive stuff that we we're shooting as long as you wipe it up you'll be just fine like anything else but this sucker here is straight out of mother russia um, you guys have probably seen on the internet for those of you guys that check out ak forums and uh, other sites like that that there are a lot of units over in Russia that are actually using these as well as soldiers within specific units using them. So they're out there. Um, and I know a lot of folks who like the authentic Russian stuff really kind of dig that. And uh, certainly this is uh, one of those items. This one here uh, is available only in the US anyway, only from Circle 10 AK. They're the exclusive SRBV uh, US distributor. And I believe the uh, MSRP on it is uh, $119. So relatively expensive, but without question, if you're looking for muzzle control, it definitely helps. Uh, right now, they're available in 24 millimeter and uh, I believe 7.62 and 5.45, as you guys saw here today, the 5.45 works just fine when you're using 5.56 ammunition. But if you guys have any questions about this uh, break, anything else I cover here on the channel, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page, but thanks as always, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll 
see you in the next video.